Is ranking NFL stadiums based on how likely I would be to name one of my future children after them. I'm taking off the last word of the name, so stadium or field or whatever that may be. Also, there's two Mercedes-Benz stadiums, so that'll only be considered once. And there's two teams that play in both LA and New York, so those will only be considered once as well. 29th is M&T Bank. Now you're going to see very quickly that I do not like naming my child after a financial institution and you're also going to see that I don't like having the and symbol in the name. So this one was an easy choice to be dead last. 28th, we got AT&T. Again, another one with the and sign. And I don't even know if that's actually allowed in America, but still, even if it is, that would look really dumb and I hate that. 27th, TIAA Bank. First of all, most obviously, it's named after a financial institution, so I wouldn't name my kid after a bank. And second of all, TIAA is just an absolute mouthful. 26th, again, another financial institution, U.S. Bank. Now, it beat out the others just because it's shorter and it doesn't have the and symbol, but still pretty bad. 25th, probably no surprise, but Bank of America. Again, we have another financial institution, and there's just absolutely no way I would consider naming my kid something after a bank. 24th, CenturyLink. Now this one just seems a little bit weird to me. And also this is all one word. So I don't like the way that that looks combined into one word, even though the link is capitalized. Just a little bit too weird to use. 23 is State Farm. Now I love short names and obviously both of those names are just that, but my last name is Brown and State Farm Brown sounds like I went and got my kid from the farm that's run by the government. 22 is First Energy. Now I guess energy wouldn't be as bad as some of these we've seen, but having the word first in there just ruins it. I don't like the idea of having a number in my kid's name. 21 is Hard Rock. Now this one might could work if I was Dwayne Johnson or even if I was like really into rock and roll music, but neither of those apply to me and Hard Rock Brown sounds really stupid. 20th is Arrowhead. Now first of all, it kind of sounds dumb to name your kid Arrowhead, but secondly, I'm not Native American and so I'm sure everyone would just get real offended by that. 19th is FedEx. Now, I don't really like this one for a real name, but I do think it would make a sweet nickname. Just imagine him as an NFL running back, just hearing the announcer say, FedEx Brown down the sideline, takes it all the way. And you could use the slogan, FedEx always delivers. So that would be cool, but just not good for a real name. 18th, MetLife. Now, the name Met by itself isn't that bad, so that's why this one made it this far. But by adding life to the end, it just kind of ruins the name for me, so that's why it wasn't higher. 17th is Empower. Now in today's society, we have so many wannabe social activists, so I could totally see somebody naming their child this one day, but I personally would never do it just because I think it sounds really dumb. 16th is Allegiant. Now honestly, I really don't think this one is that bad, but when I really thought about it, I just think it's too weird of a word to use for a kid's name. 15th is NRG. Now this one kind of sounds like energy, so that's what makes this one kind of okay. But still, I just don't like the idea of having just three letters as my kid's name, especially since it's not actually a word. 14th is soldier. Not that bad, but when you really think about it, imagine someone looks at you and asks what your newborn baby's name is, and you say, Soldier Brown. That's not a soldier, that's an infant. 13th is Lincoln Financial. Now I like the name Lincoln, so it was obviously carried this far by that fact alone because financial just totally ruins the name. 12th is Mercedes-Benz. Again, similar to the last one, Mercedes I've heard is a real name. I just don't like the idea of having Benz in the kid's name. I mean, Mercedes-Benz Brown sounds okay, but just not a big fan of it. Number 11 is Lucas Oil. Just like the last two, the first word is good. The second word is terrible. Why in the world would you put oil in your child's name? But Lucas itself is pretty good, so that's why it made it this far. Number 10 is SoFi. Now, I kind of broke my own rules a little bit with this one just because I think we could change the pronunciation a little bit and call her Sophie, so that's why it was top 10. Number nine is Nissan. Nothing special about this one. It's just a lot better than most of the ones we've seen so far, and it sounds pretty good with my last name. I like the way Nissan Brown sounds. Starting with number eight, I actually think you could use all of the rest of these for a real name for a kid, but eighth place is Gillette. I think this would be really pretty for a girl. It would totally work. Number seven is Lambo. Now, Packers fans are absolute diehard, so I honestly wouldn't be surprised if there's people out there with this name. And it also kind of sounds like Bo, so that would work too. And Lambo Brown has a nice ring to it. Number six is Paul Brown. Now, this one obviously deserves to be top three, but because of my last name, there's no way I could put it any higher. The child's full name would be Paul Brown Brown, so that would be so stupid. This one's obviously one of the most normal names, but there's no way it could work with my last name. Fifth place is Heinz. Now, ironically, this is the name of a former Steelers player, so it is a real name, and I'm a diehard Steelers fan, so I could kind of justify using this name. Fourth place is Levi. Now, this is a common name, so it was a no-brainer to be top five. However, I knew someone with this name, and I wasn't a big fan of them, so I don't really think I'd want to use it for one of my kids, so that's why it wasn't any higher. 
Third place is Bill. Now, this stadium doesn't have a sponsor this season, so it's just known as Bill's Stadium, which helped it make it so much further than it would have. Bill Brown sounds amazing. The only reason I couldn't put it any higher is because I think this is an old person name. Sorry if you're young and this is actually your name. Number two is Ford. I know several people my age and even younger than me with this name, so it would totally make sense, and Ford Brown sounds amazing. And if I had to name my child after an NFL stadium, he would be Raymond James Brown. I like having the James in the middle name because it's biblical. I also think you could call him Ray for short, and I love the way that Ray Brown sounds.